Hi guys, I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get the perfect prom hairstyle in only one hour. This is a short and classy look and it's really fast, so it's gonna be perfect for your prom. So the hair that I'm using is from Ali Sugar Hair, another AliExpress hair vendor. I love the packaging. It came in a matte black box and of course the hair was inside. So basically I got my four bundles as usual as well as the closure. The closure was really nice and well constructed and the bundles were really soft. So starting off you're going to need a wig cap, a spandex dome style cap is what I usually go for because they're stretchy, a needle and thread, and you're going to also need some scissors because we're going to be doing a lot of cutting. Make sure you have some sort of mannequin head, so like a styrofoam head, some plastic bags or like a plastic bag of some sort, and then also the glue because we're going to be doing a glued in style. So starting off I'm just showing you guys in my bonnet and showing you how we're about to prep. Get the plastic bag and throw it on your head. Do not suffocate yourself, you know, only leave it on there for a little bit. Take your spandex dome cap and place that over your head. Make sure it fits nice and snug because this is a style that is conformed to your head. So it's made perfectly for your head. Go ahead and cut off that excess plastic bag around the perimeter of your head. Get it as close as possible but just leaving a little bit. This is just going to help us so that the glue doesn't seep through to our natural hair or our braids because I do have braids underneath my hair. So this hair is from Ali Sugar Hair. I got four bundles in a closure, a 14 inch, a 16 inch, and two 18 inch bundles. So basically I wanted to show you guys how much hair that they sent me. It was so much hair on one bundle that I ended up only using three bundles for this style. So if you do plan on doing a style like this, you only really need three bundles, but fourth one just in case you want your hair to be super full. So basically what the first step is, is to measure out part of the weft and measure out the back part of your hair. With each step you're gonna be measuring out and then cutting off that piece to each section that you're gonna be gluing. So you wanna measure it in strips working up your head maybe about half an inch at a time. So then take your glue and glue that piece, you know, just glue onto the weft and make sure you saturate the weft so that it actually sticks on. You can use a blow dryer to speed up the heating process, but I didn't. I just let it sit for about 10 seconds and then it was tacky enough for me to go ahead and place on. So you want to use some pressure. You know, it's not just going to stick on easily. You want to make sure that you press it down, use a comb, use your fingers, use a hand, use something. Make sure it has stuck down because you don't want your prom hair falling out. You know, you want it to look good and you want it to stay so that you can probably use it afterwards so I'm just using my fingers to press it down and I'm repeating this up my entire head a tip that I did want to add is to make sure that you keep your pieces closer together I made my pieces kind of farther apart in the back and then closer up top and that's because I was just realizing I could make them closer together so that's probably why I didn't end up using all four bundles but even at that I still had some leftover from my third bundle so keep them really close together so that you can have your hair looking very voluminous overall so moving on to the closure the closure is gonna go up top and we're just gonna glue this at first but we're gonna go back in and sew it later so you just want to line it up to your front of the head and then you want to begin to go ahead and glue it so you just glue around the perimeter don't go across the top because that's the part that sits on your forehead and you don't want your glue to be showing at the top of your head so I kind of was off with my camera with this part so you may not see how I went ahead and glued it on but all I did was take the closure I pinned it up just to keep the hair out the way from getting in the glue I lined it up to the front of my head and I just pressed it down around the perimeter of the closure and it stuck and I made sure I applied pressure so that it was holding and I'm just holding the front just because I wanted the sides to look nice so I wanted to make sure I did not get the front of my closure with glue so as you can see now that I'm gluing towards the back it's just glued down around the perimeter I definitely want you guys to make sure you hold that part down because the closure is pretty crucial so I'm just repeating the rest of the steps about cutting the pieces and gluing them around the circle of my head when I got to the crown area of my head which is the top I made sure everything was laying flat I just filled in anywhere that I felt like there was any gaps and as you can see this is pretty much what it looked like when I got to the top there was some space for me to add some more hair right there by the perimeter of the closure but honestly it wasn't going to show or anything like that it's a quick style it's something that's used for like an event and I just wanted it to be done and over with because I was kind of tired but yeah this is what the hair looked like and then you want to go ahead and remove it so now you can easily pull off the plastic bag and that way you don't get any of the glue onto your real hair 
So this is what it looks like. It's a really seamless and really flawless look inside. The next step is cutting out the area of the wig cap that is covering the closure. You want to expose the lace on your closure so that it looks really natural. So make sure you do not cut your closure, ladies. You do not want to mess up your closure for your prom or anything. Just cut off the part that's around there. And you want to use the glue as the guideline. So you're going to feel it when you cut where the glue is. And I'm just cutting around there. You really can't see it because the glue is hidden pretty well since it is a dark colored glue. And we use a dark color cap but you just want to make sure that you're cutting around that perimeter and exposing the lace closure so here's the wig that's done you can go ahead and place it on your mannequin head and we're going to get ready to start and style so i first started off with getting some water so we can spray down our closure and train the closure to be in the middle part my closure came as a free part because i wanted to make sure i can style it for myself and make sure it looked the way how i wanted it to look so i'm going in with a rat tail comb and i'm splitting it down the center and the water is just helping to hold everything down and start to train the hair as to how it's supposed to look I'm now going in with my tweezers and I'm just going to customize how I want my parting to look. So I started to stop making my parting so like detailed in terms of it's like a straight thing because I realized nobody's part looks like that. So I made my part a little bit wider than usual. I kind of made it a little bit too wide at the front but it's nothing that you cannot conceal. So you just want to make the width of the closure the same width as your actual part in your hair. So next we're actually going to sew down the closure area. So it's really nothing to sew it down to except for the actual wig cap. So you just want to go through the side of the closure and go right around the perimeter because the glue is not going to hold it together long and you want your closure to stay and hold together your wig. So when I was done this is what it looks like around the perimeter. Go through your lace and sew down the closure. The next step is actually getting the color of my lace. So I'm taking some CoverGirl pressed powder. Nothing serious. Um, this is just the color that I sometimes use. I try different ones all the time. And this is just to get that closure color so that it matches your scalp. And just take a powder brush and rub it right into the parting area of your closure. Next, I have this colored edges thing and it's in black. And I'm just putting this at the roots just so that my root of my part looks very full. So I just take a little bit and I start to put it on there. It's very waxy so you don't need too much. I kind of used a little bit too much. But this is just going at the parting area of my closure so that it's black and it's full and it's thick. So now we're on to styling. We're going to be flat ironing this hair because I want a sleek bob that is straight and it's cut and it's blunt. So this is what we're going to do. So the loose wave texture is so pretty but I did want to show that it can straighten too and I'm pretty sure if you spray the hair when you're done it'll still go back to its loose wave texture. So I just did this section by section and I just sectioned off a little piece and I'm just taking my flat iron and my rat tail comb and I'm flat ironing my head. Now I would advise to just buy straight hair because this added to how long it took me to do this style. If you want this style just get straight hair. It makes it so much faster. You don't have to flat iron your hair and when your hair is fresh and straight from a company it looks so sleek with no flyaways. So this was just extra. It did take me some longer time to do this but you know I just wanted something really cute. So go ahead and flat iron your hair or if you have straight hair you can just skip this step and wait until we get to the cutting. So this is what the hair looked like when I was done flat ironing. It did a pretty good job with the flat iron, but it's now time to make this hair what it's supposed to look like. The hair was really smooth once I finished flat ironing. It still had body to it even though it was flat ironed, and I think with a bob you always wanted to have some body. So I'm taking my scissors and I'm doing this section by section. As you can see, I'm keeping everything leveled and straight across. You want to use the section that you cut as your guideline and go straight across. You don't want to do it in big sections because it's going to be harder and it might look a little bit too choppy. So do it in small sections and just go straight across. Make sure you cut underneath. Make sure everything is like really straight. It's a blunt cut ladies. So you want it to be as blunt as possible. Okay. Real blunt. So when I was done, mine was kind of leaning to the side. It wasn't all the way symmetrical. So I just went back in and I made sure that everything was nice and straight across. Touched it up a little bit and this is pretty much the style. I used my flat iron and I went over it a little bit more. And when I was done, I just went ahead and brushed it through, combed it through, did my makeup, got cute for the prom, and this is the final look. So 
So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to wish all of the juniors and seniors going to prom have so much fun. I did not go to my senior prom because my school was whack and lame as hell. So have fun for me. Remember me when you're wearing this cute hairstyle at the prom. Don't forget to check the description box down below to visit Ali Sugar Hair to get your prom hair as they are having a sale. Follow me on all of my social media networks and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.